Hi, this is Eric from Lucid Graphics. Now we're going to continue the less basics, which we're going to touch on to color. Uh, less has some really cool things you can do with color, so let's go ahead and get started. So first, I'm going to add some markup. I'm just going to add uh, five divs, and within them, put a paragraph. Uh, and within that, I'll just put color. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay, and at the bottom I'm going to add a link. So we we'll say add link, and we'll say hover me. Okay, there we go. So we've got some pretty, um, pretty much nothing going on here. Let's go ahead and just do some basic styling. First, I'm going to set up the. Uh, uh, Let's move that over to okay. All right, so we got the less here. I'm gonna have to do some basic stuff real quick to uh, to get everything situated. So first, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add uh, something for the divs that are in there. I'm gonna give them a width of 148 pixels. I'm gonna give them display inline block. I'm going to text align center. I'm going to give it an outline, uh, one pixel solid black. I'm going to do a height of 150. I'm going to do a, a line height of 150 pixels as well. And I'll do a margin bottom of 20 pixels. Okay, let's take a, take a look. See how we're coming out. Looking pretty good. Got five boxes. Okay, so let's continue. All right. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do something with color, and so I'm going to use the int child. So we'll do a container, and we'll do div, and we'll do int child, and we'll start with one. And then I'm just going to, uh, and we're going to do this, we're going to control the background using a variable, but I'm going to show you some tricks with color. So, uh, so we'll just do background, and we'll just say uh, bg1. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. Five times. Okay, so it's going to take that. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, so now we have. Okay, it's saying they're undefined, and yes, they are. So let's define them. So we've got at BG1, and we're going to make this just a. Uh, Right now, we we'll just make it. Uh, let's just say we're going to. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to mess with the various things that that uh, Les has to offer. They have several things. One they have is a lighten, a darken, a fade, and a spin. And we're going to start with um, lighten. So first of all, we're going to start with a color, and we're just going to pick a color. Excuse my. And I'll go ahead and pick this this color right here. That looks nice. Nice dark force green. Okay, so I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do. Uh, let me see. Use the, okay, so. Okay, so we got five BGs and we got a color. What we're going to do is first we're going to do the the, the lighten. So I'm going to do. Uh, you do lighten, like this, and then you would say, and we're going to use the color. And we're going to say how much we want to lighten it by, and we'll just say 10%. And so, now that I think about it, I should have just done like this. Okay, so. Okay, so let me see. Okay, and I'm just going to make this go to 20, 30, 40, 50. So now, let's go ahead and take a look. As you can see, I lightened it by 10% every time. It's pretty cool, uh, and this is very good for creating like uh, like shades. So, um, so here we go. Let's take a look at CSS. What it did was it automatically uh, finds the color for you, which is really helpful. So, like let's say, let's say um, I want a different color. Let's say using this nice this nice dark blue. So now it's 
do that, and I go over here, and I got this great shade, and I got I got I got tints. It's great. Okay. Uh, so it's very nice. So now let's try, and that's what Lighten does. And you can uh, change this to uh, to to change how much lighter you'd like it to be. And in Darken, it's very similar. It actually does the exact opposite. So you should see the exact same thing, except for it flips around. Okay, but it goes darker from this point forward, which is kind of once it reaches black, it doesn't really go any further. So let me let me pick a better color to. Uh, so we'll pick a nice light like that, and uh, there we go. Or right, has to let me like that lighter. So you can see uh, the tints. And if I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the tints are the darker, and the shades would be the lighter. So let's go ahead and take a look and see. We got that nice, that nice look again. And a 10% gets darker, which is pretty cool. Okay, and you can any are just arbitrary values, but you can change them to meet whatever you're trying to do. And that's how you use the darken. And there's also the fade. And fade does something similar. It does uh it does something similar. Except for this except for fade, it does it deals uh it deals with transparency. So as you can see here. It got, it got more transparent. So, but this one works a little bit different. So it's 10% uh, you can see. So it is pretty much transparent. So let's say we started at 90 and 80, 70, uh, 60, and we might have just left that. Okay. So now the way this one is done is a little bit different. So it starts off with. It starts off with 90%, 80, 70, 60, and 50. Okay. So you got there's 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. In, in transparency. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so let me give you an example. So if I was to make the uh, You'd better see if you saw the container. Let's say it had a BG of, let's say, a gray. For the, it's better to see with a. See, you can see it kind of behind it. Uh, let's make it better color. Let's say maybe like red. Okay, so here we are. See, you can see it really through there, and so the transparency is really is really cool. And so uh, now we're going to get to the next one, which is spin. Spin, what it does is the color wheel is a circle. And so it basically, wherever you are, it spins it in degrees. So let me go ahead and show you. So we'll go spin. And to go full circle would be 360. So what we're going to do is we're going to make, we're going to make it uh, uh, 360. We're going to go... Um, we're gonna do you do it in degrees, so it goes zero and seventy and three sixty divided by five is seventy two and it's one forty four uh, two sixteen and two eighty eight and it goes back it goes ex exactly back to two eighty eight goes back to three sixty which would be one so now let's take a look now you've got a good a five color uh, like exactly exactly the same degree and the same hue around the color wheel which can be uh, good for working with the colors and stuff if you're trying to come up with a kind of a color uh, like a palette for that for the site so there that's pretty cool and then you also can do uh, let's say you wanted to find the complement color so so the complement color would be complement would be at would be uh, spin and you take the color and you want to do uh, 180 because that's exactly the opposite side. So now I have a link there. Now let me add some things for the link. So first I got to add the container. Let's say I do a background of the at color and I'll do display block. 
display block, and I'll do a padding of 20 pixels, a border radius of 10 pixels. Okay. And I'll do a margin top of 20 pixels. And uh, let's do a text align center. Let's do a text decoration none. Let's do a transition. Again, we saw this earlier. But let's just do it like this, five seconds. And uh, okay, so then let's give it a little bit of a hover thing. So we'll do uh, and hover. And we'll do a background. But instead, of, we want to do the, the, uh, the complement color. And the, the color this time will be white. Uh, we'll do a text transform to uppercase. We'll do a letter spacing to, let's just do something crazy like 30 pixels. The 30 pixels. And let's do, um, let's do a, a box shadow. Okay, so we'll do a box shadow. Uh, we'll make it go in first to zero, zero. And we'll do a hundred pixels and we'll wipe. And then we'll do a little bit on the outside. And we'll do a 10 pixel, but we'll make it semi transparent. So we'll do a zero, 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 not zero. And we'll make it 0. 0.6. Okay, so there you go. So now let's take a look at what we did. So now you got this color, and when you hover over it, it switches over to the complement color. It has a transition. It's pretty cool, and it's exactly everything is within this color. It's within the uh, the color of the the site. So you have a you have a complement, and you have a five uh, exact exact in the same hue, uh, and uh, it's great. So it's very good good thing to do with colors. It works out. Uh, can be very helpful. Uh, cool. If you like it, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching.